That's drinking out of my toilet again. <laughs> you guys know you have a water bowl, right? And take you guys over to the water bowl, shall we? <laughs> Got you. All right, Smeagol. That's right, there's a water bowl right over there, isn't there? <laughs> Hello, Poggers. We are gonna be taking Pringle to uh, this new farm, and I have a little surprise for you guys. Because who needs a nice big water bowl whenever you have the sweet, succulent, forbidden porcelain water. Ooh. But luckily, I regularly bleach it and clean it because I know that that happens and I don't want them to get any nasties. Isn't that right, guys? Isn't that right? Okay, Pringles eat the dog food again. That's a no-no. But today, I have a very big surprise for you guys. We're going to be taking Pringle to a fancy fancy place there is a new farm of a friend of ours that has some cooney coonies and uh, pringle is at that age and we're in a particular circumstance right now where all of the grass is kind of dead and i've kind of touched on that in my last videos i told you guys that i was going to reseed it last night farmer ben stayed up real late and reseeded the grass i used that special mix from the walmart that's a wheelbarrow that i got real proud of that Real proud of that. You know you're a man when you buy your first wheelbarrow. And uh, and yeah, so I seeded all of like the dry patches and all of that stuff. So things are doing pretty well. And you also notice that when I open this, Karen isn't here. You know why? Do you know why? Where's Karen? Where is Karen? Where is she? Well, I'll show you where she is. I, Pen Karen, and little Chungus, hello, in, uh, in here. Karen! Oh, there she is. Karen! Oh, hello, Karen! See, Karen is hanging out there. Uh, I can go into the backyard and show you guys what the setup looks like. It's really basic. I just have a feeder and a water. And then I have her in this area, which is more than enough for her for now. And like I said, it's just temporary. And if you guys remember, this is the person that I gave my Cooney Coonies to a while back. If you guys are longtime fans, you remember back whenever we had the old house and, um, and we had those Cooney Cooney pigs. And this is actually my first pot belly pig. And uh, Pringle was a rescue. And so are the Cooney Coonies. But I ended up giving them to her because they started to get a little too big for the space that we had at the time. Um, but now she wants to do a swap. I'm going to give her Pringle for the time being. Uh, Pringle's going to have a boyfriend. Uh, who knows? Pringle might even get a little pregnant. Pringle, stop, uh, stop eating the dog food, please. She can't eat it. It's just not good if she, like, exclusively eats dog food. Um, but... So we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna do a road trip today. I'm gonna to show you guys their farm and their place. It's gonna be very exciting. And uh, yeah, what do you think, Poggers? What do you think, buddy? You wanna go on a road trip with us? You wanna go on the road trip? And I'm showing you folk. We're gonna ask what happened to the baby Julia. So here she is. She is resting in Shrek's skirt, which is great. She's doing really well. I'm gonna put an extra little baby waterer for her because I don't think she can reach this very well. Uh, so we just put her in here. She's doing super well. Those are the other two Julia kids and they're gonna go back out to uh, Julia's house And then there's Genghis Khan and Genghis Khan is gonna be my son We're gonna bring Genghis Khan inside and just spend a lot of time with him. So I'm really excited for that That'll be in the next video Okay, so as I said, uh, we're taking Pringle to this new farm Pringle is gonna be in great care She's gonna have a huge field to run around and play in with other pigs that are just like her and a lot bigger and, uh, and now I've got her in this little burrito. She trusts me a lot more now. She didn't scream whenever I pick her up. She does sometimes, but not that much. So we are gonna be taking Pringle to uh, this new farm. And I have a little surprise for you guys. Oh, I remember when Pringle was just a knee high to a grasshopper, so small that she could fit in the palm of my hands. Same thing with poggers, but boy, did they grow up fast, folks. <laughs> Cherish these memories. I suppose you could say my car's a little bit of a pigsty. <laughs> Pringle and I are going on a road trip. Road trip. She just wants to sit on my lap. Look at that butt. Pringle do be kind of thick. Road trip. Wow. This is incredibly unsafe. Okay, so somehow Pringle decided to climb into the back and then around the side of the chair here and now she's stuck because she's too thick to get through the corner. So, 
Oh, never mind. Never mind. Here she is. I should probably stop filming. All right. Well, Wish I me thought luck. I could trust Pringle to not jump all over the car and make big dookies inside, but I could not. So I'm going to put her in this big storage container with the towel at the bottom. Come on, baby. Pringle is not a car pig. I've been having a lot of bad luck lately with having these guys in the car. Smeagol is, it's funny, the cats are the most well behaved in the vehicles. Although Smeagol tries to get by the pedals. But okay, there's the setup. She's in there now. She's gonna be fine. I'm gonna close all this up. She immediately kind of hopped on my lap. And at first I thought it was just like, oh, I wanna, I wanna sit on daddy's lap kind of thing. But it was actually a, I wanna, I'm upset and I wanna poop on you kind of thing. Like she's, even now she's trying to hop out. She do be pretty adorable, but I'm gonna clean up this poop real quick and then we're gonna get back on the road. Road trip. I see some familiar faces. Could it be? Is that Petunia? Pringle found the food. Okay, so now is the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and set her down and we're gonna see how the other ones treat her. See if they get along. Riley. It's funny how she's like more interested, interested in, in the dogs. dogs. Yeah, because that's what she's used to. She she sleeps with poggers every night. Pringle wants to be with the dog. <laughs> Pringle, you shy? You being shy, Pringle? So it looks like Pringle already found her way into the mud and she met these other boys. This one. Well, that one right there is a familiar face. Go ahead and go in the comment section if you think you know who this one is. Look at this boy. Look at this thick man. That's Pee Pee. If you guys don't remember, Pee Pee was the one that was in our tiny little back backyard at the old place. And he's clearly not a pure Cooney Cooney, as you can see. They think that he has a little bit of wild hog in him. And that's also, honestly, probably why he was so, so hesitant and slow to to uh, be friendly with us when we had them. But there's a familiar face. If you guys see that, that's Peppa. That is little Peppa. And uh, Peppa was also in our backyard. We used to give her Chipotle. If you guys go back to our videos far enough, we did a bunch of food reviews with Peppa. And those are all of her babies. Look at these little boys. Oh. <laughs> Bella might just have to grab one of these boys and eat them. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're so perfect. But obviously this is a much better life for uh, Pringle, at least for the time being, while we're trying to fix the grass at our place. Uh, we might take one of these little babies and, and, uh, and pan feed them and, and train them to be a house pig, but we'll see. A National Geographic <laughs> moment right here. Pringle's first... Fight. Oh, Petunia's protecting her! No way! Is that Petunia? Yeah. And this is Peppa. This was our pig that we used to have. She does not remember me at all. But uh, she's got all these little babies. And uh, it looks like Pringle is fitting in already. Oh. Good girl, Peppa. Peppa grew up and became a woman. It's amazing what happens in under a year with these animals. How, how they can change and get so much bigger. It's crazy. Oh, look at these babies. And then I believe that this is Petunia. If you guys remember her from the old videos. Do you not trust me with the babies?
Okay, so Pringle is obviously very, very happy. Uh, this is a little cooney cooney that we're going to take and uh, we're gonna pan feed him and we're eventually going to neuter him and treat him like a house pig as well uh, because he is a male and the males are going to get eaten here. So we are going to give him the life of a pet. Pringle, what are you doing in the mud? Pringle got a dump truck. For those of you that are real fans of the channel, this is Peppa. Now she's grown up and she has all these babies of her own. And we're taking a run. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uncle Ben's just driving while TikToking with the flash in his face. Uh, just want you all to know that Pringle isn't gone for good. She's just gone to summer camp for a, a week. Look at this perfect little man. Oh, he's so special. He's so perfect.